between the rocks in Hunter Thicket, a young Spino rises. Unbeknownst to him that he just stepped in to a world of danger. His instinct tells him to head down to a safer place. This is the story of one of the better Apexes. For now, we will call this young Spinosaurus One Sail. She is a female Spinosaurus and she has made it to the safety of the waters. She will spend most of her life in the waters. She is beautifully adapted for a semi aquatic life. A powerful tail to propel her forward and powerful jaws with sharp teeth catch even the slippery of fish. She learns quickly how to catch them. It is good. Without any parents, her defenses are limited and should she meet anyone, she would have no other choice but to flee. Being a semi-aquatic opens up a lot of options which not every creature on Gondor has. The access to an almost unlimited food and water and a series of rivers and waterways that will fasten her travel. There's a handful of semi-aquatic species on Gondwa and she needs to watch out for all of them. But by staying in water, they also attract prey. A young Thalmodromius drinking a perfect target. One sail has still a lot to learn. This failed hunt will only serve as a lesson for later. These lessons will only increase her chances for survival. And she is going to need them. It is too naive to think that you would have such a big lake all to yourself. A noise. One she doesn't recognize from before and one that doesn't sound like a spino. A young Dinosuchus. It is not that much smaller or bigger than the one cell herself. But don't be afraid of the croc you can see. Be afraid of the one you cannot see. Judging that this lake is too dangerous for her to stay at, she decides to migrate. To make sure she doesn't have any pursuers, she will have to do some risks. A leap of faith, if you will. Physics has never been a strong suit on Gondwa. However, adults are not recommended to do this. This is something only limited for juveniles. And with an open path and rivers in front of her, she head out on her next adventure. The smell of the air is stirring, and in the distance she can see a young iguanodon. It is not that much smaller or bigger than a one cell herself. However, this will be her first hunt. 
when you hunt, no matter the size, big or small on your prey, never underestimate it. Even the smallest of creature can do annoyingly high damage on you. Miss. And with the high speed on the Iguanodon, it runs away. And all she can really do is waste stamina at a futile attempt to catch it. Night is upon Gondwa, and with it, chaos. In the distance, Bonsail can hear something rather arousing. A young Argentinosaurus. A perfect meal. Even though it's small, one cell gotta watch out for the tail. Success, and it would seem a curious Nicta has been spectating it all. Witnesses are nice, but also a bad sign. If he finds a way up to one cell, she is dead. It would also seem that the commotion has brought in a young aloe and a metri. With food this plentiful, it is enough for everyone. A long time has passed, aka growing a Spinosaurus and nothing really happened. One cell have now reached adulthood, and with it, all the power of an apex, and also the burden that comes with it. She has found herself a mate, and they have decided to stay at this pond. However, it's just one problem. This pond is crocodile infested. Dinosuchus. There can only be two top predators in this pond, and one cell wants them out. She needs to be careful though. A bite from the Dinosuchus can break bones. You would think that having a, such a massive cell on its back would be a handicap, and you're absolutely correct. Because a blow to the spine can be devastating, one cell gotta stay at the surface of the water. But in one cell's favor, she has two arms equipped with massive claws ready to keep the Dinosuchus away from her underbelly. Those claws can inflict heavy bleed damage, one that the Dinosuchus don't want to take. With one of the Dinosuchus slain, the other will flee. This water belongs to one cell and her partner. 
A new day has arrived, and one sales partner has gone out to hunt. Their pawn has been visited by a dino Kyris. The curiosity of the duck is rather interesting. However, if she wants to do a challenge for the pond, one sale is always ready. However, it would seem that she will have bigger problems to face. The Tyrant King, Tyrannosaurus Rex. One sale is quite a prideful creature. She wants a battle with the Tyrant King, and she makes sure she got witnesses. Asking the nearby juveniles to just stand by and watch. She now has witnesses to confirm this battle. She just gotta make sure that they stay out of this battle, because this will be a battle of titans. Her claws will do massive amount of bleed damage. However, she just needs to watch out for the mouth. That mouth that contains one of the strongest bite ever seen in the animal kingdom. Seeing that it is in an unfavorable position, the Rex tries to move the battle inland where he can have the advantage. This location were no good either. The Rex need the high ground. Will the tide of battle finally turn to his advantage? So falls the Tyrant King, and the Water Dragon assumes his new throne at the top of the food chain. One sales partner is back, and they have their eye on the target. A Subaralt Argentinosaurus, wrong place at the wrong time. As he is subadult, the other full grown adult cannot help him if he should be attacked. Perfect for one cell and her partner. This is not good. An Argentinosaurus, even as a subadult, are one of the strongest creatures on Gondwa. 
One sail is one tap from death. But with a roar, the Argentino falls. With the fall of the Titan, their position at the top of the food chain are once again strengthened. The Dinosuchus seem to want a piece of the Argentino. Lucky for him, they are food enough for all. And one sail needs to be careful and careful in here, but not after she has recognized the fighting spirit of the fallen Argent. Night has fallen and Wonsell finds herself alone at the pond. And now with a noisy neighbor, but she will not be outdone. She has already killed one Rex. This one shall be no different. There's only room for one on the top of the food chain. She is perplexed by why he would waste his stamina on that charged bite. But that does not matter. This Rex shall fall. A nasty bone break. And one cell's mobility are now limited. But for some reason, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is fleeing. Has he recognized oneself to be the stronger creature? Only one way to find out. Again. He bone breaks and runs away. The message is clear, he does not want to fight. But if this is truly his intention, then he should know his place. If you're gonna stay here, then prepare to fight. It would seem that he has gotten the message. There is no doubt about it. This watering hole belongs to One Sail. One Sail's watering hole has now been invaded by a subadult Argentino. With her new partner, she is initiating a hunt. This titan will fall. Ugly bone break, but luckily not as nasty as the Rex. With one cell bone broken, the organ targets her. Unfortunately for her, there are two.
with a cry of pain, another titan falls. This time, not as badly damaged as the last one. However, she still needs time to recuperate. And it looks like Adillo didn't get the memo of who's the king, or the queen for that matter. <clears throat> the majesty of the Argent, the might of a Spino, and the audacity of this little rat. Let that be a warning for anyone who dare to sheepshot a Spinosaurus. This is a story of the Spinosaurus, who couldn't even catch a bird, managed to achieve her position on top of the food chain, and even bring down giants. So how many people do you think are going to tell me to attack a full-grown Argentinosaurus?